it's not really a matter of skill but rather a matter of bias in I'm out here struggling to make ends meet while other people are enjoying the fruits of all of my innovation all of my knowledge and everything I graduated in 2007 with a degree in geospatial engineering and I have worked since then in several international research institutions as a GIS analyst so in 2017 I became a technology entrepreneur and I moved into the agriculture sector first and then later on the energy sector and I started a company that is involved with the smart metering of electricity simple and innovative solution that is composed of sensors a dashboard and smart alerts designed to make energy management efficient so I met uh, Lauren Dunford in 2017 about June mid 2017 is when I met her through a mutual friend and uh, I was told uh, that there were some people in town who are looking to meet up with a technology entrepreneur so that they can be able to do something together. She had an idea of doing something in the solar energy space, but after we consulted and we went around with her for a while in different factories, I ended up proposing a change in tact and I told her it would be better for us to focus on the energy monitoring space because the solar space was already pretty filled up by different players. I think this can have a tremendous impact both in driving sustainable growth and in fighting climate change. August 2017 we decided to partner and we started a company called uh, Safigen. It was initially called Safigen because the idea was to generate clean electricity. It was later renamed to Safi Analytics because by then the idea had been to use data analytics to manage energy and to manage electricity consumption and so for the one year when they were studying between mid-2017 up to mid-2018, I was in Kenya developing the technology, building the company, setting up pilots for our technology. And so through the months that I had worked, we were able to come up with a prototype which we were able to install in different factories. It became very successful. We were able to build a very nice interface and all of our customers were pretty pleased with it. Uh, she had suggested we bring on somebody who has done a venture capital fundraising before. And so we ended up taking a, up another partner called Westworm. And so that happened to coincide with when my partners were completing their MBA at Stanford University. So having newly raised capital and uh, having a product that was already in the market, the plan was for them to come to Kenya and then we'd set up shop and we'd together grow the company and move it forward. Uh, apparently, as much as I had thought that uh, we were working together as a team, they had uh, come up with a plan to eject me by then. So there was a lot of uh, cajoling and being pressured to resign, being pressured to give up my shares in exchange for a separation offer. And after that, uh, she had given me an offer which I had refused because it was a very poor offer in relation to everything that I had done for the company. And it was on my refusal of that offer that she decided that even any severance pay or whatever that I would be able to get for my, for my work will not be given. So she ended up uh, pulling a very kind of illegal dismissal uh, without following any of the due, uh, any of the due process. And uh, my only recourse was to go to, to the court and to be able to seek um, some intervention from the judicial system. You guys are really, you know, eating the fruits of my labor, all of the work that I had done for so long while they were in school. And I'm out here struggling to make ends meet while other people are enjoying the fruits of all of my innovation, all of my knowledge and everything. A lot of the startups in Nairobi tend to be uh, owned and led mostly by foreigners from abroad, while uh, locals are mostly employed in the lower cadres. So it appears like locals are not innovative. Locals cannot design any new technologies. Locals cannot be able to build companies. But the reality is that uh, locals are doing a lot of these things. It's just that at the end of the day, there are so many unsavory practices that are being done uh, here in the local tech sector that people don't speak about. And a lot of local founders end up being shortchanged.
and make sure to subscribe to get the latest African lists, entertainment, pop culture and news. Remember to leave your suggestions on topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below.